Sorg. It's time for the big question, Will. Yes, yes it is. <laughs> so uh, this whole Hulk Hogan thing is terrible, right? Right. Um, and I think it, we've it, illustrated that point it very got, well. It got me thinking about how like a lot of wrestling fans don't give a shit. Mm-hmm. You know, you've got the people who are on his side and the people who are not on his side, but a lot of wrestling fans don't give a shit. They don't know who he is. And it got me thinking about the reason we care is because we grew up with Hulk Hogan. He's been an mm-hmm. icon the entire time we've been wrestling fans. So, right. the big question is, what is something from your formative wrestling years that you miss? Something that is lacking from wrestling now? I'll start. I know it's awful for the wrestlers, and I totally respect that this is not a thing anymore, but I love a good hardcore match. I always have, mm-hmm. and I haven't seen one in a while. They always make me have. No, I saw one at RWA. Uh, which what match? What show was that? <laughs> that was the Unleashed match available on PittsburghWrestling.com. Uh, G Raver, G Raver, Akuma, fans bring the weapons match. Falls count anywhere. Great stuff. Great stuff. They don't do that in mainstream wrestling anymore. Have you tried TNA lately? Have you tried no. Bloody Mania at the Gathering of the Juggalos? Sorg, we're just going to have a whole year of you trying to get me to go. Yes, we are. <laughs> it might work. Well, it'll be you and me, LB. Hey. It's a whole other conversation for the Indie Mayhem. Sure. Right. Uh, but yeah, uh, my choice is uh, I, I really miss hardcore wrestling. Done well. Now, are we talking like um, garbage cans and pallets and you know stacks of pipes in the backstage? Are we talking like... Light bulbs, uh, glass light bulbs. Wire. No, there's there's a line that only you I mean you can only cross it every now and then. Like the like a barbed wire match. That's great. That's fine. If you do one of more than one of those a year, you've lost my interest. You know yeah, what the I mean? Barbed wire match is like good for like once a decade. Yeah. You're like oh, a barbed wire match. Oh, I have to see that. And then you see it goes. Okay, I'm good. Yeah. That Sabu Terry Funk thing, yeah. that's that's fine. That's pretty much everyone's yeah. one barbed mm. wire match. Yeah. My, uh, Sabu and Terry Funk, mm. I'm good. Use it sparingly. I, I got I gotta say my uh, my my Friday night involved uh, class for that ass match, uh, <laughs> uh, a, a, a barbed wire match, and a uh, a bloody rumble where you have to be bleeding before you can be thrown out of it. That's amazing. Good. Yes. Different. Okay, that might have sold me on <laughs> last year. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling, telling you guys. Yeah. I'm telling you guys. Like the three nights of wrestling were freaking amazing, <laughs> and that may be enough for you guys to go. Mm-hmm. So I'm just saying. I'm just saying. And I think really you guys would kind of dig the culture there. But other than that, so that's me. So we're... me, um, theatrics. Theatrics. Uh, now I wasn't around in the era where uh, Undertaker and Kane were throwing lightning at each other. But I was, uh, I had an interesting uh, interaction where I'm wearing my Ultimate Warrior shirt on Saturday night and I'm walking out to the parking lot. Uh, and, and I ran into someone who was like, he just like, he just launched into conversation with me about Papa Shango and Ultimate Warrior and that <laughs> weird stuff. And like, we look back at it and it's so, it's so odd now. And they make fun of it on like Countdown or something, right? But still, like that whole weird theatrical, what is happening here kind of thing or, or uh, Jake the Snake Roberts throwing Undertaker in the snake pit, you know, uh, and, and, and you know that kind of weird, crazy stuff that used to happen back in the day. Or Undertaker in general in the early '90s, right? Like I miss that level of theatrics, and uh, we definitely don't get that today. And I really hope when Kane comes back, they pull out all the stops, and just Kane is just ridiculous, crazy, spiritual monster Kane, because I think that is missing. Um, but yeah. Uh, weird, weird little anecdote. Uh, 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 on top of that, the guy that stopped me and talking about Papa Shango, turns out he was in the backyard wrestling two video game. <laughs> oh, oh wow! So there you go. Um, nice. Man, I remember that game. I love that game. Yeah, I remember it. Those games were amazing. I loved them. <laughs> uh, Mac Harlan's. Um. Well, there's a lot of things I miss, but uh, you know one thing I I I really do miss. Um, and I think it would come in handy these days. I miss the brawl to the back, Sorg. Yes! I miss the non-finish where two guys are just so hell-bent on clubbering each other that they just disappear up the ramp and behind the curtain and are never seen again. And you and don't have it. any... There, we have no cameras to follow them. <laughs> they, they, they're just gone. We'll see you next week. I love it. And it's such a perfect out for a match.